had, I, I honestly really, really didn't want to have to do this. Rachel Lindsay went live on Instagram Sunday afternoon to speak on Hannah Brown's apology for singing the N-word. It's easy to make a statement. It's easy to hide behind words, but when you're bold enough to say the N-word on camera, on your platform, then you need to be bold enough to use your face and you're on camera and apologize in the same way that you said the word. Rachel made it clear that she was personally offended by Hannah's actions, and she felt the need to speak out publicly after reaching out to Hannah personally. I thought, you know what? Let me just speak to the person directly and let them know how I'm feeling. You know, it's not an opportunity to call somebody out. It's not necessarily an opportunity to drag someone. It's an opportunity to maybe educate them, to speak to them about how you were personally upset about it. So that's exactly what I did. Um, never with the intention to come do an Instagram Live, never in the with the intention to call someone out. I thought, let me challenge this person to use their platform because last night it was used in a different way. So let me challenge them to use it in a better way, right? Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe they didn't realize the intention behind it. So let me give them opportunity to now use their platform to correct that mistake. According to Rachel, that challenge was not met by Hannah. Now I understand that an apology was made, but when I know what could have been done, when I know what I challenged someone to do, they refused to do it, or they did not do it. I should put it that way, they did not do it. This all comes after this video of Hannah singing "The Baby's Rock Star" went viral. Brand new Lamborghini, with a cop car, with a pistol on my back. Like I'm a cop. Have you ever seen a real <laughs> rock star? It's no good guitarist. Throw it. Rock. Fans were quick to call the former bachelorette out for using the N word. After Hannah caught wind of what happened, she seemed to alternate between apologizing, blaming it on her brother, and saying she never used the N-word. I did. I'm so sorry. That wasn't you. That was, um, Brooke. No, I was singing this. I'm so sorry. I, was <laughs> I don't think that you said that. I don't think maybe no, there was, there was okay. no. maybe it was Patrick. Yeah, but also it could have been the other people Um anyway. Well I'll just say that word, my dad would kill us. So do you know what? I'm gonna stay here. Y'all can think I said whatever I did. On Sunday afternoon she posted an apology to her Instagram story, saying quote I owe you all a major apology. There is no excuse and I will not justify what I said. I have read your messages and seen the hurt I have caused. I own it all. I am terribly sorry and I know that whether in public or private, this language is unacceptable. I promise to do better. That word is made, was used to make black people feel less than. It was used to make them feel inferior. And every time you use that word and you aren't black, you give that word power. And that is why that is wrong. Rachel gave further context to why the word should be avoided, even if it's in a song. I was talking to a friend today and they made this comment. The word bitch used to be so a word that nobody, nobody could use, right? It was so vile to use that against a woman. And then women started to take power back over the word and, and they call each other, hey bitch, what's up bitch? They say it all the time. If a man went around calling to woman, a woman a bitch, we would be all up in arms because it is not okay for him to do that. You see women doing that because they're taking power back in the word. Rachel, who is the first and only black lead in Bachelor franchise history, wasn't the only one to speak out against Hannah's behavior. Becca Martinez took to her Instagram stories, saying in part, quote, how are people still gonna defend celebs with access to so much privilege, knowledge, and education, saying the N-word, even if it's just the lyrics to a song? Nick Vial also took to his Instagram stories, saying, quote, there is no excuse, period. Super sad and disappointing to see. I repeat, 
non-black people should not feel okay about saying the word it's wrong, you wouldn't say it on TV, you wouldn't say it on the radio, you wouldn't say it in front of your black friend. And if the reason that you wouldn't say that is because you feel uncomfortable, then maybe you shouldn't say it in private around your other friends either. Maybe you shouldn't sing along with it to a song. Rachel ended her Instagram live by calling on everybody to do better and be better. If you're going to praise someone for being open and sincere and being honest and being so upfront and, and, and bold and speaking out, then you have to hold them accountable when they don't do it over a controversial situation, a controversial situation when it's controversy that they caused. 